France 24's Poland correspondent Gulliver Craig joins us now for more on this. Gulliver, there will be some 200 Holocaust survivors at the ceremonies today. Some of them already met with journalists like yourself yesterday. What have they had to say? Well, they talked about how they still remember very clearly their time here, particularly their arrival here, being brought here in cattle cars, the stench of human flesh burning, the smoke and flames coming out of the chimneys, the screams at night, all of these horrors. They said that they still remember even 75 years later. And they also talked about how important they feel it is for them, now that there are fewer and fewer of them still around, to be talking about this, to be coming here regularly, to remind themselves about it and to be visiting schools and other places and to keep the memory alive. They said that they're very afraid that once the last survivors are gone, then the memory will start to fade as well. And they said that they're doing all they can to make sure that that does not happen. And of course, they insisted uh, very much on that ever-present refrain that this must never happen again. Absolutely. And that, that notion of people forgetting is a very real one. There's been a series of polls recently in several countries about just what people today do know about the Holocaust with some pretty alarming results. Yes, I've seen polls done uh, late last year or early this year in Canada, the United States, France and Poland, and all of them throw up similar results with less than half of respondents able to say how many Jews in total were killed in the Holocaust. And the majority of those getting it wrong, underestimating the figure, sometimes saying that it was only two million, for example, six million Jews, I should remind viewers, were killed in the Holocaust by the Nazis. Polish respondents uh, asked about how many were killed specifically at Auschwitz Birkenau. Two thirds of them said they didn't know, didn't want to answer the question. There are lots of figures that you can see on the internet if you look up coming up from these um, opinion polls, which uh, show, sorry, not opinion polls, polls rather of people's knowledge, which show that people are really quite unaware of the statistics and particularly the younger people are, the less likely they are to have strong knowledge about what happened in the Holocaust. On the plus side, in all countries, more than 90% of respondents said that they thought it was very important to keep this memory alive, very important to talk about it, to have it taught in schools. And so perhaps that's also why events like this, these kinds of commemorations and the extensive media coverage of them are all the more important as uh, more and more time is put between us and these horrific events. Gulliver, thank you for that. Gulliver Craig there reporting from Auschwitz. And we'll be checking back in with you throughout the day here on France 24.